This Holy Eucharistic Adoration is sponsored in thanksgiving to Almighty God for the graces and blessings bestowed on them. Praise the Lord, or give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. From Ustina Ma Felix, Jayanta Kularatna, Noela Felix, Tishan Lakmal Kularatna, Berad Indika Kularatna, Lasika and Baby Venuri Bavenia Kularatna. gathered once again in the presence of the living Jesus Christ the Redeemer of the humanity God who has shown his love in the person of Jesus Christ on the cross continues to love us continues to draw us all together unto himself once again in the presence of the most blessed sacrament, the sacrament of the presence of Jesus our Lord, Jesus our Redeemer, the Messiah, the Son sent by the Father, 
the bread that came down from heaven the living bread the bread that continues to feed feed his sheep feed his believers feed his people we thank lord once again in your presence in adoration we kneel before you we pray in your presence extraordinary presence of the living god and son jesus christ among us for our reflection today my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children and my dear young generation we take the reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans in chapter 1 verses 20 to 22 a letter that paul writes to the church in rome in advance before he would visit he has not been there he has not visited the church and he has neither founded the church in rome but his heart's desire is to visit rome to share that good news of jesus the risen lord he sees a very profound and extraordinary relationship between jerusalem and rome in fact today what we experience what we see in the church it is exactly what saint paul was able to perceive a relationship between the church in jerusalem and in the church in rome and paul is trying to tell them about their faith not to be misled and misguided by the authority the public worship promulgated by the emperor but to be faithful to the lord but to be faithful to what they have been able to receive what they were able to hear about the good news of our lord paul says to them it is a letter in which he is asking the people the believer to set his heart and soul the body upon the teaching of christ not to allow the evil powers to overtake them and the reading goes to tell us chapter 2 1 verses 22 22 st paul says and he writes ever since god created the world his invisible qualities both his eternal power and his divine nature have been clearly seen they are perceived in the things that god has made so those people have no excuse at all they know god but they do not give him the honor that belongs to him no do they thank him instead their thoughts have become complete nonsense and their empty minds are filled with darkness they saw they were wise and they say they are wise but they are fools instead of worshiping the mortal god they worship images made to look like mortal man or birds or animals or reptiles this is the word of the god thanks be to god my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children 
mighty young generation. St. Paul's word is the word that comes from God. As Paul was inspired to share the depth of an experience, he says to us that the people cannot excuse themselves from the presence of God in their life when they look at the nature and the whole history of humanity. Therefore, God's revelation is first and foremost, it is a revelation in the creation and it is a revelation in history. And what we see today in our presence in the Blessed Sacrament is that summing up, is the culmination, is the summit of the revelation of God's love in creation and in humanity. God continues to reveal himself today once again in the living presence of his Son in the Blessed Sacrament, in the Holy Eucharist. We cannot see him we cannot receive him when we are overtaken by our own egoism, by our own selfish ways of wisdom and reasoning out. We cannot touch him because our hands are poisoned. We cannot see him because our eyes are blind. We cannot pursue because our minds are darkened by your own ideologies, by your own perceptions, by our own measures, and by our own decisions, by the wisdom that we think that we can have out of God, without God. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, St. Augustine says, God, to come to you, to go away from you, is to fall, is to fall in our life. But to come towards you is to experience the resurrection. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us sing to the Lord. Let us open our hearts and minds in singing to Him, opening our hearts to be touched by His power, to widen our horizons, to open our minds and our hearts to see Him, to experience Him in His creation, in the history of humanity, in our own history, and who is present before our eyes in the Blessed Sacrament. Because He is alive. He is alive. He is living.
Yes, Lord. In the words of the psalmist of the Psalm 111, we thank and we praise you today with all my heart. I thank you, Lord, in the assembly of his faithful and his people. How wonderful are the things that you do. All who are delighted with them want to understand them. All that you do is full of honor and majesty. Your righteousness and your righteousness is eternal, Lord. And you are in fact indeed righteous. Lord, do not let us forget your wonderful actions. You are kind and merciful. You provide food for those who, who honor you. You never forget your covenant. We know that. You have shown your power to us, your people, by giving us the lands, the wealth in the sacraments, given us your presence in this most holy sacrament of the altar. In all that you do, Lord, you are faithful and just. All your commands are depend, dependable. Yes, Lord, we thank and we honor you today. We bless you. We glorify you on them. We thank you for being with us. That you bless us. That you enlighten our hearts. That you fill us with your light. With your love and with your grace. Deus cui nobis sub sacramento merabili passionis tue, memoriam reliquisti, tribue quesimus ita nos corporis et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis sue fructum in nobis iuditur sensiamus, cui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum,
Holy Eucharistic Adoration was sponsored in thanksgiving to Almighty God for the graces and blessings bestowed on them. Praise the Lord, O give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. From Ustina Ma Felix, Jayanta Kularatna, Noela Felix, Tishan Lakmal Kularatna, Berad Indika Kularatna, Lasika and Baby Venuri Bavenia Kularatna.